Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg, and welcome to this series on the new multi-stage distortion plugin Thermal from Output. Now, as with the design of all of Output's plugins, they're a master of ergonomics and UI design where it's super intuitive and easy to learn and wrap your head around and get control of, but goes really deep. So I want to spend this first video just showing you how thermal works, where all the controls are, what they do, how to use them. And then the rest of this series, we're going to spend putting them to creative use. Now, to start with, there's only three pages in thermal. This is the main page, and we always get to it from this little target icon. We have an advanced page that we get to from there, and we can jump back and forth with that. And we have a preset browser that we get to from clicking in this preset field, and we can close it with X or just jump to one of the other two. Now, when we're in the preset browser, we have different categories of effects. And of course, it's always useful to experiment and go through these and see how these are programmed. And we can go to the next previous settings like that. And we can always hit this floppy disk icon to save our user presets. And here's where they're stored, the root level of the hard drive in the library folder in application support, output, thermal, and then we have presets, and there are the factory presets, and user ones are stored in there. Now, at the heart of this main page are the macro controls, which are useful for controlling all the underlying parameters that we have mapped and routed on the advanced page. So we have this big XY control. We can grab the handle and drag it around the circle, and it'll move both of these macros simultaneously. And of course, we can move these on their own. So these macros can control multiple parameters at once, and we can automate almost anything with them. We assign them very simply by just dragging this plus button onto a knob. So let's say I'm going to go into the advanced page and just drag this over here. We can then dial up a preliminary value. And we'll go over what this is doing in a moment. But then we drag this up or down for the modulation range. I can go upwards to have it modulate in positive values above the starting point. Or I can drag down to have it generate negative values. Let me set a higher initial start point. And now as I dial this up, it goes down. Let's set a deeper range. So very simple to assign them like that. And then we can right click and we can remove that macro assignment or we can set it to bipolar. So it moves in both directions. Above and below the static position that it's starting at or unipolar where it goes only in one direction. In this case, below. Now back to the main page. We have a dry wet slider which mixes the process signal with the dry signal. And we have a lock button, which is really useful. When you have this enabled, when you switch presets, it'll preserve whatever wet-dry ratio you have set. And of course, as we're moving, we have readouts of what's happening. Over here by percentage on both accesses. And then we have simple input and output controls. Now I'm gonna end off here. And in the next video, we'll continue and look at the advanced page in more detail.